What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we will be talking about emotional intelligence. Now, if you're not sure what emotional intelligence is, you've come to the right place because we will be going over all that. Plus we have a few clips. We have a few comments we're going to be going over as well. And surprise, surprise, I did research on this video. That's right. I have some research we are going to be going over. And if you could like the video, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Sit back, relax, grab you a beverage, get you a snack. And hey, my name's Rat Boy. Let's get into it. Static particles are created by an imbalance of electrons. The resulting charge is what we scientists call static electricity. Gee. It's, it's just like when your mom takes a dress out of the dryer, puts it on, and it, and it clings to every supple curve and soft round. <laughs> The most powerful women out there possess this one quality, emotional intelligence. If you don't know how to control your emotions, it's going to end up Ooh. ruining you. Powerful woman's not gonna send that massive paragraph telling him everything that he did wrong, no. Because giving him an ounce of your effort and attention and energy when he's already disrespected you, that is the last you're gonna hear from us. Because when you send that massive paragraph, when he's already disrespected you and already proved Ooh. to you that he doesn't care, you're just releasing your emotions onto this person, saying to him why he doesn't care to begin with because what you're actually telling him is that if he were to get into a relationship with you he would be walking on eggshells the entire relationship because he's not sure what's going to have you reactive and what's not Ooh. if you're in control of your emotions you don't let these things phase you yes it might bother you a little bit but it's how you respond that's going to make the world of difference if they can trigger you they can control you someone that's in control of their emotions usually gets what they want they're not reacting right away to something that bothers them they're internalizing things they're thinking things through they're able to self-soothe I, when i hear stories about girls getting upset over like small <gasps> things he didn't want to like see you on a specific day or whatever and then they react to those things and go off on them absolutely killing your chances of this potentially turning into something because of how you're reacting. No one Ooh. should have that much power over you to where you have to act out of character or self-destruct or act in ways that you are not proud of after the fact. The and there it is. This is something And there else. it is, gentlemen. We got everything we needed from that clip. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that emotional intelligence is just that, controlling your emotions, knowing when to express them and when not to what people not to express them around and in my opinion and in my experience men do this a lot better than women do women are the ones sending the long texts to the chads after they ghost them they're the ones making the tiktok complaining being emotional on on camera and then posting it for a bunch of strange and random men to watch and then those strange and random men post it on their youtube channel and they do this. This is a repetitive behavior. However, they claim to be more emotional intelligent than a man, which is kind of, well, we'll go over that. That's later on in the video. Let's go ahead and watch this next clip, which kind of proves my point. Dating in this generation is just so annoying and f weird. And I get it because the men grew up on men don't cry, men don't show emotions, men don't da da da, but men are just supposed to be not have any feelings or emotions. I get it. You grew up on that. But now, as an adult, you need to learn how to express your f emotions and not shut down or throw a temper tantrum. Because at this point, it's literally like talking to five year olds. What's wrong? Use your words. What happened? How are you feeling? Like, <gasps> it's like me being an emotionally intelligent <gasps> woman and an, also an empath. <gasps> I can explain to you how you're feeling better than you can understand how you're feeling or damn sure express how you're feeling. <gasps> Get it together. This is not the 90s. Gain some emotional intelligence. Why is everyone so f stupid? Why aren't more people intelligent? Me. And there we have it, gentlemen. She is more emotionally intelligent than you. Just look at her. Look, look at this video. She can control her emotions better than you can. <gasps> now, in my experience, like I said, I'm not aware of their emotions. They're, they are well aware of them. They're, you would be hard pressed to find even a group of men that are that's sort of harboring some sort of pent up emotion that they don't know how to express uh, a majority of negative emotions men usually express those in the gym 
You obviously can't express those negative emotions to, uh, to a woman, that's for sure. Because then it just gets... A lot of times when a man expresses those negative emotions that women don't like to see, it, uh, it gets thrown back in their face or gets weaponized later on, uh, especially if they're in a, a relationship. These women will remember stuff that's happened years and years of for years and then they'll just throw it in these men's faces later on and it's like it's uncalled for it really is but they use it to to attack these men because women really don't like men they just like what men can offer them and then as soon as they're not getting that thing that they get from them they move on to an, another simp to provide those things let's take a look at these comments here real quick Someone says everybody think they know something. He did a lot of talking, but when someone self-proclaims they're emotionally intelligent and they say that they're an empath, I could just like, yeah, they're not really. Uh, they need to, uh, you know, everything they say just kind of doesn't mean much after that. Then we have one guy says, I'd rather stay silent or talk to my homeboys about it. She chimes in, you cannot have a healthy relationship without communicating, but whatever works for you. Well, here's the thing. If a guy is in a relationship, he cannot share those emotions with the woman he's in a relationship with. Especially if he wants to keep that woman. How to communicate to the right people. Exactly. And that's up for you to decipher. If you have a woman in your life you can't communicate with, then maybe some reevaluating is necessary. True. And then someone chimes in. The way she talks definitely reinforces why nobody talks to her. The condescension and lack of empathy is off the charts. She has zero emotional intelligence. Empathy is not a pass for not doing your own healing work. Be blessed. He is completely delusional completely delusional um of course the comments had a bunch of random random women gassing her up about all this uh and that's to be expected because it's tiktok they're pretty much brain dead re over there and tiktok is just making them dumber I, I think men can navigate tiktok in sort of a passive way where women just get engulfed in it and it just controls their life and they have to be on it at all times for the constant validation um i'm making another video on that that is very interesting. Uh, this is what some of these women do. And pull up the definition for emotional intelligence. Well, we're going to go over this. Emotional intelligence, EI or EQ, is the ability to perceive, interpret, demonstrate, control, evaluate, and use emotions to communicate with and relate to others effectively and constructively. It involves being aware of emotions in oneself and others and using this awareness to guide thinking and behavior. Emotionally intelligent individuals can motivate themselves, read social cues, and build strong relationships. EQ is the ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges, and diffuse conflict. I think men do this very well. Women, no, not so much. We have one more video we're going to look at. Let me get this, uh, whatever this is, off the screen. The falseness we live in as women is believing that we have high emotional intelligence. And setting the record straight, women have no emotional intelligence. The reason that as women we want to believe we have emotional intelligence is because we are emotional. <laughs> because we are emotional. As women, we want to think we have high emotional intelligence. But the truth is, is the fact that we are highly emotional is actually the biggest indicator that we have very low emotional intelligence because being emotional is having no control over our emotional state, which is low emotional intelligence. High emotional intelligence is the ability to be pragmatic, to see things realistically, and to make choices and respond to life, not from an emotional place. It's the ability to be in control of our emotional state and operate in life from that place. A little place. bit, but I'm, I'm gonna give you this. Somebody told me one time, I don't have to preach it all at the same time. I could cut it like Subway and give you a six inch in the morning and a six inch at night. That's not my style. I'm gonna shove this entire foot long down your throat. And there we have it, gentlemen. Women, by definition, cannot be emotionally intelligent, which make uh, women a lot of times unpredictable in many ways. And you have people like this that are stuck, glued to this app, and basically claiming that they are better than someone else. She got pumped and dumped by Chad, a couple chats probably, and she thinks that she's doing something. She's not. Like, this is a clown show. But this is what these women are doing. And other women are looking up to these people. 
they are influenced by them. You have dating gurus, re relationship coaches, marriage counselors. You have these women sitting in the front seats of their cars telling other women not to send long-winded text messages because it's too emotional and it's common sense. I don't know any man that does this. There, it shouldn't happen. But here we are. Here we are. Obviously, I think that it's all it, it's all bull Can we just be honest about all this? Can we be real? Logically, I think women just like to call themselves emotionally intelligent because it makes them feel good. A lot of things you'll find that women do, they do it just because it, it gives them the warm and fuzzies. They don't like the, the sharp and pointies. They like the warm and fuzzies. It's all just to cope. And probably the funniest part about all this when I was in the making this video watching these clips is someone like this telling me I don't have emotional intelligence someone like this is telling me that I am not emotionally intelligent I have complete control over my emotions and I'm being told by something like this it completely blows my mind but let me know what you guys think subscribe comment if you have something to say and I'll catch you guys later rat boy out